Hey yo, what's up? It's your boy Dro Star. And this is my tales of the industry. Giving it to you straight, no chaser. How? Hey yo, I'ma tell you niggas about the time I was at your boy Mike Tyson crib. Shit was crazy, man. Niggas just running around bugging the fuck out, you know what I'm saying? Boom. Had to be like maybe 2001, 2002. You know what I'm saying? I'm up in Vegas and shit, wilding out there. Out there, my man Jamal and shit. Big time nigga out there doing his thing and shit, get money. Running around with cougars in the crib and all types of crazy shit. You know what I'm saying? So we out there in Vegas and shit. And um, I was doing a movie. It's called Vegas Vampires. This company called CMX and shit. Scrape the niggas for a couple of dollars. Boom, boom. So I'm out there doing my thizzle, amongst other things. And um... There was, I forgot what it was, it was it was like the, the American Music Awards or some shit was out there. So boom, I'm out there, we were at the Venetian Hotel running around my man Johnny Gow and shit. He says like, yo, there's a party at Mike Tyson crib. Boom, let's go, let's go. So you know, Vegas is like, wherever, wherever it is, you go, you know what I'm saying, it is what it is. So I remember it was me, Genuine, Tigger, and like, Mad, it was like mad shorties, it was just crazy, so, boom, it's just when the Cadillac trucks first came out, so niggas was like, yo, how we gonna get there? Niggas, everybody jumped in the Cadillac truck, I'm talking about at least 10 people, no lie, in one truck, Genuine and Tigger was in the back of the truck, with like two, sh it was crazy, it was just like a sardine can, so we about, we go over to Mike Tyson crib, Boom, I'm driving this shit, you know what I'm saying? The king of Vegas. So we go to my Tyson crib, shit, this nigga crib is crazy. Talking about some real, some real $30 million looking shit, you know what I'm saying? Sick shit, just basketball courts, anything marble. So we went there and shit. Niggas was cooking shrimps. Niggas cooking the shrimps the size of fucking lobsters, nigga. Like, I ain't never seen a shrimp that big. I was like, man, this nigga's getting it, you know what I'm saying? Big shrimps, fucking stick. Just the, the food was crazy. So I'm like, damn, you know, I met Mike Tyson before, but I never really, like, met him. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you see the nigga in the club, and the nigga look at you kind of mean. You just, you know, you do one of them and shit. But you never really fuck with Mike like that, you know what I'm saying? Unless you're really down with the nigga. So, boom. At the time, we had this, uh, this, this artist was Tiggy Brother named X1. You know what I'm saying? So at the time, X1 was signed to Mike Tyson. You know what I'm saying? On Tyson Records. God bless the damn my nigga X. But I never really got to really meet Tyson like that. X met Tyson through my man Dougie, you know what I'm saying, who used to run with Belvin DeVoe and all niggas in L.A. Dougie, a, you know, L.A. nigga, real nigga from L.A. back in the days, OG nigga. I met him at a mansion party one time. We was chilling and shit. I seen him at a mansion party, and I played the nigga X1 demo, and he was working for Mike Tyson. So Mike Tyson was coming with a record label, you know what I'm saying? So he took, so he took it to Mike. Mike signed the nigga. So X1 out there bugging. Big chains on Mike Tyson records, all of that. So, this is my first time really, really, really getting to meet Mike. So, we go to the crib and shit. The crib is crazy, son. Mary J. Blige is there. Stevie Wonder is there. Christine Million. She was a little girl at the time. She was like, yo, yo, you could get me in the crib. You could get me in the house because... He wasn't letting certain people in the house. He was like, certain people could stay outside, but then he was like, wasn't letting certain people in the crib. So I was like, yeah, I got you. And I got huh, huh, homegirl Felicia. You know what I'm saying? I used to know them back in the day. So I got them in the crib. I mean, she was, she was a shorty. Probably maybe like 18, maybe 17. So everybody's up in the crib and shit. So I'm just sitting down next to Stevie Wonder. And I'm sitting down next to Mary J. And we just talking and shit. We just chilling. I'm like, wow. Niggas sitting next to Stevie. Mary J. So here goes your boy Mike Tyson. And he comes up. Yo, what's up, man? Yo, you know how he talk. Yo, what's up, man? So I'm like, looking at the nigga, like, kind of quiet, because I don't really know what to say about the dude and shit, you know what I'm saying? So he's like, yo, what up, what up? He's like, yo, you know this girl named Snow, right? I'm like, uh, yeah, I think I know what you're talking about. He's talking about this, this, this girl named Snow that I knew. He's like, yeah, man, you know what I'm saying? I had to destroy her. I just, <laughs> I just murdered her. <laughs> and I was like, yo, this thing is ill. I was like, yo, this thing is crazy and shit. And then um, Stevie Wonder is at the party. He feeling on everything. Every girl that went by, he like. I'm like, yo, Stevie's a fucking freak. I swear, 
I'm like, yo, Stevie's a freak. Word of my mother, bitch was like, yo, what's going on? Like, Stevie was getting it in. You know what I'm saying? So we all at the crib chilling. So I'm like, yo, this is crazy, man. I don't know what I was on that night, but niggas was on some crazy shit. My boy Johnny Gallo, he running around the crib. That's Marky Mark little um cousin. He with me. So he running around, he got the champagne bottle. He drops the bottle on Mike Tyson's floor. <laughs> the whole party like like a nigga just the DJ just stopped the record. Hey! So Mike said, Yeah, that's your point? I said, Yeah. I said, Yeah, that's my boy. He's like, he's cool. Hey, clean it up. Nigga just clean this shit up. I was like, yo, that's the boss. Mike Tyson has the boss. That was a crazy time, man. Not to get that shit. So we watching the movie, you know, watching the movie. See, every time DMX came on the, on the movie screen, she's like, ooh, damn. It's like, I'm like, what the fuck is this? She all on this nigga DMX. They call her like, fake movie.